it's homebrew review and I can say it's going to be a, a half homebrew review if you like um, purely because I'm on call at the moment the, the wife's about to burst any minute um, so I'm a bit like a 24 hour plumber without the salary I've got the Hardcore IPA clone here by Frank's Homebrew 77 and I've got to admit I've never had the the commercial equivalent it's not quite as cold as I want it to be also because I think my fridge is about to break down but that's another story so I believe this is I don't actually know the percentage, I know it's quite strong oh and I think the camera's about to die so be prepared for a cut it's flashing but we're still here Right, I'm going to keep half of it in there because I might screw it up and uh, have it tomorrow night. It's quite quite dark, well, not dark, but it always looks darker. Slay hazy, probably because it's got a huge amount of hops in it. It smells fantastic, it's kind of super tropical kind of. A little bit of that piney resinous note on there. Right, I'm going to go in. Hmm. Certainly doesn't taste super strong. In fact, that's quite sessionable, probably Mommy! quite dangerously. Hmm. Did want to get the equipment. I'm not sure if the whole core IPA. I might be wrong. I know the Brewdog do one for Tesco, and it's like it used to be in like a black bowl, and it was something IPA. It was like quite strong, about nine percent or something, and it used to be the equivalent of. Brewdog's version of whatever that was and they brew it for Tesco and that. I'm not sure if that's Hardcore IPA. I've certainly never seen Hardcore IPA in, in my Tesco's anyway as a, as a normal Brewdog bottle or I kind of don't really buy the, the Brewdog bottles that much. That's pretty damn good. I'm not sure if, like I said, the one that in Tesco's, because for me that, that beer was almost like you get the alcoholic mode. I don't like the, the one that they brew for Tesco, it kind of seems too strong. But this is dangerous. I'm, I'm hazarding a guess that it is quite strong. I didn't actually ask, and I can't remember what the, the commercial version is, but it's certainly sessionable, I think. In a dangerous way. Mm. That's something to be proud of. That I think that's a fantastic homebrew. But I'd be too scared to kind of brew something like that myself. I'd uh, be able to control myself, kind of drinking it every night, and before long you'd be quite silly with uh, having too much of it. I can actually feel it a little bit. I've got, yeah. There's, there's some strength there. So I think I'll take it easy, finish this half, and then um, maybe maybe consume the other half tomorrow night, or I might even have to consume it and do another review. I'm hoping the camera is still recording because it is flashing, but it's not it's not cut out yet. Yeah, I don't want to say there's no off flavours, there's kind of... It's not super bitter either. I don't, I don't know if the commercial version is like really quite, a, quite bitter, but it's got... It's really rounded, I think. Though I think my tastes, my taste buds have kind of gone beyond the realms of bitterness because sometimes when I have like really bitter beers, or what considered really bitter beers, I taste them and I think, hmm, that's not bad. Give it to someone else and they're like, you know, they can barely drink it, it's that bitter to them. I think you kind of, your palate just builds up a resilience to kind of some of the bitterness that you get from hops. Hmm. Funny if I just re 
like I haven't reviewed it, but I got a it's like a sample box from one of these beer companies. I've kind of like supposedly won a competition, managed to get these beers quite cheap. To be honest, it was just after my birthday. I was going to review them, but I just kind of consumed them pretty much one a night. And there were some commercial versions or commercial beers that weren't actually quite as good as this. And there were some that were easily on par with this. This is good. Yeah, that's top draw, Frank. I don't know what else to say. I would love to drink the rest, but if I um if I have to drive the missus in a in a in a state after having a maybe a nine or an eight and a half if this wears, it could be a dangerous situation. So I've got one more from Frank to do, which is uh, an American wheat beer, I believe, which I think is a little bit lower on the ABV. So we might be having that come the weekend. So cheers, Frank. It's top draw. I mean, I've got to give that a ten. I'm not, I'm not really one for super strong beer sometimes, I have to admit, but when it tastes that good, you can't resist. Fantastic.